Good morning, guys. Let's see, this will be vlog 21, I believe. Gotta head over to uh, Arizona today. Gotta go drop some stuff off at my mom's house that she wants. Dresser, some end tables. These end tables actually came from Bonnie Springs, which is no longer there because the kids decided to sell it. Look up Bonnie Springs in Nevada. It was really cool. It was this, uh, it was land that this lady and her husband, I believe, they turned, they turned into like a Wild West town, right? And they had like a train that went through it and a restaurant and they had like a Wild West shootout show and it's been around for a long time, Bonnie Springs. And when the parents died or the grandparents died, I'm not sure, of course, you know, the kids didn't want to keep it. They just seen dollar signs. And so they sold the land for millions and millions of dollars. And now they're building houses over it. A shame. So they did a big auction, a bunch of stuff. You can go get pieces of things that were from there. And uh, my mom got those two for Wyatt, but she wants them back since we're moving and she's gonna use them, so. But yeah, so I gotta get over there, drop some stuff off. I got some stuff to pick up for the trailer over there also. Finally got our registration in and our license plates for it, so I'm happy about that. And Wyatt's at school, and so I gotta get on the road because I gotta get there and back before he is out of school because I gotta pick him up, so. Let's get it. Now living in the desert for the past 16 years, it's amazing how you get so used to nothing but brown and tan and no trees. All right. Arrived at my mama's house. Get to see the new RV again. Habitat. I don't know if you guys knew, but my mom has a tortoise habitat for these desert tortoises. Which are like, they're not really endangered. They're not really endangered, but she took care of them. My mom built this whole thing from scratch. Look. Hey, Mama. You getting the turtles out? The tortoises, yeah, chips out. Where? Right there. Chip? Yeah, he's the big one. He just came up for some ice hmm. song this season. Hi, Chip. He's been hi working out here this morning. Hi, honey. There you go. Love you. See all the piles I've been making? Yeah. Kids are gonna... I don't think I've seen him out yet. Uh, no, this is Take, seen flowers. take a look, guys. The desert, chip, chip, the desert tortoises. I got four. Four of them? Yeah. How you doing there, bud? Hey, bud. Come on, buddy. Come have some food. Just, just pet you to say hi. See how you doing. You doing all right? You doing all right, bud? Not gonna hurt you. Not gonna hurt you. He's pretty big. Yeah, he's really big. Yeah. Oh, all right. I don't want to freak you out. And uh, I don't know. You know. Naturally, I think he'd be less. But I wait at the end of the summer to make sure before they hibernate that they're up to weight. If they're not up, at least what they were the year before, then I would be concerned, right? Yeah. And, Hi, Chip Chipperoo. Like, what the heck? He's like, man, can't a guy wake up in peace? <laughs> he's so cute. Like four, he, said, he said like 40 years old? Yeah, he's, oh, oh. that was, I, sn I sniffed. Did I scare you, okay. Chipperoo? Wow, well, we're moving quick, right, so. Yeah, let me put him down. 
But look guys, my mom built all kinds of cool stuff for these tortoises. A little village, a little tortoise village. What did you plant for them to eat? Tortoise blend grasses. You can buy tortoise blend. And then I've also planted some clover. That's the clover coming up first. I've seen that. They like that, the clover, huh? Yeah. Is he pigging out? Pretty cool though, huh guys? This desert tortoise habitat my mom's got going down. With all her cool little things. Flag going. Sunflowers, they, they popped up last year by themselves. I didn't even plant them. Oh really? Yeah, and what they were is because I, I put out seed for the birds. And, oh, the, and they sprouted. The bird block, right, for the woodpeckers, and they sprouted. Yeah. I didn't think they grew out here in the desert. They did. Oh, I right here by the water, right? Yeah. The water. Well, overflow this. This is for the bunnies. For the birds. I get, I get like hundreds of quail out here in the morning. I feed them. I've seen them out here. The quail. <laughs> and the road runners and everything else. Yeah. Running around. And the Wiley. Thing. You guys have Wiley that runs around here. The coyote. Yeah. Literally a coyote that runs around the property. Nobody, nobody messes with them. Yeah, a little uh, cottontail. You see this little house? We've nursed cottontails to grown up size after they've been found uh, real little. So this house serves that purpose. Other than that, it's just, uh, it's just for decoration. Hmm. Come on, little Hampton Prince. We're trying to figure out what we're gonna name our trailers in the RV. I told my mom she should name the Beast Penelope. <laughs> or I may just name it the Beast. The Beast. All right, leaving my mom's house, heading home. Picked up some stuff that I needed. I found my, uh, I'll show you to you guys when I get home. But I had a, uh, um, like a big giant turkey deep fryer pot with like the propane burner that goes underneath it. I know you guys know what I'm talking about, right? But I brought it over here years ago to my mom's house and deep fried a turkey with it. And I totally forgot where it was at, right? Like I told her, I'll just pick it up next time I come up and never picked it up and forgot that it was even here. And me and Roxanne were talking just yesterday. I said, man, I wonder what happened to mine. We need, we need to go buy another one just in case we want to do like a crab boil or uh, another turkey deep fry or if we find you know, something we need a big pot for that we can do outside. And lo and behold, behold I found it here at my mom's house in the garage. <laughs> All right. Home sweet home. Not too bad of a drive. So some of the stuff I picked up from my mom's house, which she had for me, I was going to tell you guys was this gas powered auger which is going to be very useful here is my burner i was telling you guys about for the big pot and two 30 gallon propane tanks for my trailer because those were part of my trailer anyway that i got from her and george but um i didn't think they had them but they did so that's good. 
I gotta get this stuff unloaded and get something to drink because I'm like dying of thirst. <laughs> this gas auger that my mom gave us is gonna come in handy so much when we're out there at the property and we need to build fences and stuff. Like super handy. I'm so happy that she gave it to us. Thank you, mom. I appreciate that big time. I do want to get those propane tanks put on this trailer though and not use these barbecue ones. Just make sure everything's on the uppity up. Another good thing that I picked up from my mom's house <clears throat> was my trailer registration and my new plate. And I don't know how it is for you guys right now in your states, but in Nevada, it's like an act of Congress to be able to get into the DMV right now. So basically nothing happens. But Simple Life Reclaimed was nice enough to register my trailer for me in Arizona so I got an Arizona plate now to put on and I didn't have to stand through the line so thank you Melanie and Gary I appreciate you guys so much I really do really saved me a lot of time in the DMV All right, got everything put away earlier today. Roxanne got home and she's out in the trailer cooking. Din Din, some dinner in the trailer. Let's see what she's up to. What you butt heads doing in here? Hanging out. <laughs> Making dinner? Yeah. That looks really good. Mm -mm -mm. What is that? That's a spinach tortellini. Spinach well, spinach tortellini. and tomato tortellini. The tortellinis are right here. Cooking in the trailer. Yeah. Wyatt's hanging out on the couch, which is our bed. Four days. Mm. Wow, good. See, do you guys understand why I get so fat around her? Spinach tortellini. <laughs> so you've been trying to cook in the trailer for a lot of meals, right? Um, I mean, not every meal, but you've been doing yeah, a bunch Yeah, well, it's now. been like, yeah, it's been little ones, nothing crazy. Well, you're using your skillet. Mm-hmm, got my skillet. I have not used the Instapot out here yet. Well, you just plug it in, forget about it. I'd like to try it. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so, out in the trailer, what's going to be the biggest pains for you, you think, like doing the kitchen thing? Hot. Hot? It's going to be hot in here? It's going to get really hot in here cooking. Maybe with the Instapot it won't be so bad, but this stuff going, it's hot in here. Yeah? It's hot. <laughs> I'm warm. You're going to use this, I'm. I'm guessing as the yeah, cutting board, I, the so table. As long as I'm in here practically by myself or you guys are chilling over there or whatever you guys are doing, just stay out of this area. I'll be all right. Well, it's not always gonna be feasible, babe. I know, <laughs> but you know, even if you're sitting here yeah. in the chair, you're all right. We've been trying to practice, guys. We're getting the hang of it. 
because I think it's important to live trailer life when you're about to live trailer life. <laughs> well said. Right? <laughs> So we've been doing that. We've been hanging out outside a bunch in the garage on our camping chairs, different things. So the only thing that's hard about the trailer is going to be it's hot. Um, hot, and then I mean I'm used to my big kitchen, so obviously cooking is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to make my meals like I normally do now. Well, you have three burners and an oven. I know, but this oven's not as big as my my oven inside. Yeah, but you you haven't even cooked anything in the oven yet, mm -mm, I have which not. you should actually this weekend. You should I, ooh, you should cook something. Cookies. No, you should cook a meal, babe. Come on, and then do cookies afterwards. Because I have tons of chocolate chips. So you can use it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, I am gonna get ready for dinner because I am starving. And it's almost done. And it's almost time for dinner. So. I will see you guys on the next one, all right? <laughs> Bye. Bye.